What's going on guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Once again we are back on NHL 20 and we're going to be doing another career simulation video. Today's sim will be on another defenseman and that is Thomas Shabbat of the Ottawa Senators. Thomas Shabbat was part of the infamous 2015 draft class and was selected 18th overall by Ottawa. Shabbat has been a main piece of the Sens blue line since the 2017-18 season and after Eric Carlson's departure from the team at the beginning of the 2018-19 season, he's pretty much become the face of the franchise. So far in his career, Thomas Shabbat has played in 205 NHL games and has scored 29 goals and 90 assists for 119 points. Not bad at all for a defenseman, and on top of these numbers, he was also an all-star in 2019. So today on NHL 20, we will be simulating into the future and doing the best we can to stay out of the way of the Ottawa Senators and Thomas Shabbat in the simulation. Then after each year, we're going to be checking in on his stats as well as if he wins any awards. And now with all this being said, Let's see how Thomas Shabbat is looking heading into the first year of this simulation. So heading into year number one, Thomas Shabbat is on the first offensive pairing for the Ottawa Senators, playing alongside Nikita Zaitsev. Thomas Shabbat has developed a few years already in this sim, so he will be starting off at 86 overall, with medium elite potential. His role is currently listed as a top 4 defenseman, and his stats to start off are pretty solid. Thomas Shabbat has 93 endurance, 90 defensive and offensive awareness, 89 passing, and 89 puck control. Once again, these stats are looking pretty good, and now let's see if Thomas Shabbat can help Ottawa get back to a playoff spot in year number 1. Year 1 sees the Ottawa Senators finishing 2nd to last in the NHL and possibly in position to get the first overall pick. Thomas Shabbat's season was nothing too crazy and saw him score 10 goals and 25 assists for 35 points on the year. He does increase in overall and is now up to an 88. Also, the Ottawa Senators did end up winning the draft lottery, and aside from having the first overall pick, they also have the third and fourth pick as well. With the first pick, they take Alexi Lafreniere, with the third pick, they take Vasily Ponomarev, and with the fourth pick, they take Alexander Holtz. As of right now, the future is looking pretty bright in Ottawa. Year 2 is once again a disappointing one for the Ottawa Senators as they finished 27th in the league. Thomas Shabbat had another season similar to the one he had the year before. This year he put up just one more point and he scored 8 goals and 28 assists for 36 points. We do see Shabbat increase in overall once again and he's now up to a 90 overall. Year 3 still has Ottawa on the outside looking in when it comes to the playoffs, but they did come closer this year, missing by just 6 points and finishing 22nd in the NHL. Thomas Shabbat, like the team, did have a better year, and this season we saw him playing 76 games. In those 76 games, Thomas Shabbat scored 7 goals and 35 assists for 42 points on the year and was a minus 7. Decent year for Shabbat, and with this, he does remain at 90 overall, and hopefully the Sens finally make it back to the postseason next year. Ottawa again is right there in year number 4, but still cannot get into the playoffs as they finished 21st in the league and missed out by just 4 points. We do see Shabbat have another increase in production this year, and in 78 games he scored 5 goals and 50 assists for 55 points on the year. Shabbat was at plus 28 and increases up to a 91 overall. Also, Ottawa does jump up big time in the draft from 11th overall to 2nd, and with their now 2nd overall pick, they select Edward Zanin who is 76 overall with medium elite potential. Finally, in year number 5, the Ottawa Senators sneak into the playoffs after a 7-year drought and finishing 16th in the NHL. They matched up with the Florida Panthers in the first round and fall to them in just 6 games. Thomas Shabbat's regular season was a rough one as the 27-year-old did end up getting injured and only appeared in 49 games. In those 49 regular season games, he scored 7 goals and 20 assists for 27 regular season points, and in the 6-game playoff run was very solid, putting up 4 assists. With all this, we do see Thomas Shabbat remain at 91 overall. Another frustrating year for the Ottawa Senators as they finished 18th in the NHL and missed out on the playoffs by just 2 points after being in the playoff hunt all year. Tom Shabbat has a nice bounce back year and he puts up 9 goals and 48 assists for 57 points in 81 regular season games. Shabbat was a plus 13 and is now back up to a 92 overall. The Ottawa Senators finished 16th in the league and again with 89 points on the year, but this time it was enough to get themselves a spot in the Stanley Cup playoffs. This year saw them match up with the Boston Bruins in the first round, and once again they could not get out of the first round as they fell to them in 5 games. Thomas Shabbat struggled again with staying healthy this season and only appeared in 64 games. In those 64 games, he scored 6 goals and 50 assists for 56 points in the regular season, and in the playoffs did nothing but be a minus 8. Despite this being a shortened season and a rough playoffs for Thomas Shabbat, he once again increases in overall and is back up to a 93 overall. In year 8, the Ottawa Senators finished 10th in the league and for the second straight year made the Stanley Cup playoffs. 
The postseason this year was much better than the other ones, and saw them knock off Toronto and Boston, but lose to the New Jersey Devils in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. Thomas Shabbat's regular season saw him score 15 goals and 54 assists for 69 points on the year and was a plus 24. In the playoffs, he appeared in 20 games and in them put up 8 assists. Thomas Shabbat also took home the Norris Trophy this year, and despite this great year, Thomas Shabbat does decrease in overall and is back down to a 92. After two straight playoff appearances, the Ottawa Senators the following year have a pretty shit year that sees them finish 26th in the NHL. Thomas Shabbat, like the team, had an off year, and this one saw his point production go down a little bit. In a full 82-game regular season, Thomas Shabbat scored 4 goals and 39 assists for 43 points on the year. He was also a plus 3, and with all this, he once again decreases in overall and is down to a 91. Also, this was the last year of Shabbat's contract, and in the offseason, he does decide to move on from Ottawa and signs just a one-year, $11 million deal with the Detroit Red Wings. Thomas Shabbat's decision to sign with Detroit may not have been a great one as Detroit finished 25th in the league and no playoffs once again for Thomas Shabbat. He did end up having a pretty good season though with the Wings, and in 82 games he scored 19 goals and 44 assists for 63 points on the year. Shabbat was a minus 1 and once again increased up to a 92 overall. Again, this was the last year of his current deal, and again he signs another one-year deal with the Red Wings worth $12.14 million per year. So, 10 years into the simulation now, Thomas Shabbat has had a pretty good career so far. He has played in 874 NHL games, scored 113 NHL goals, and 450 assists for 563 career points so far. Thomas Shabbat also won the Norris Trophy for being the league's best defenseman, and the only thing bad about his career you can only really say at this point is that he's still yet to be on a consistent playoff team. He again signed a one-year deal, so I don't really know what the future holds for him team-wise, but let's hope wherever he ends up, he gets a cup soon. After a poor finish the year before, the Red Wings turned things around and finished 10th in the NHL and clinched a playoff spot in year number 11. In the playoffs, they go on a deep run that sees them lose all the way in the Eastern Conference Finals in Game 7 to the Toronto Maple Leafs. In the regular season, Thomas Shabbat scored 10 goals and 46 assists for 56 points, and in the playoffs scored 2 goals and 7 assists for 9 playoff points in 17 playoff games. Shabbat falls off a bit in overall down to an 89 in the offseason, and finally commits to Detroit for longer term and signs a 4-year extension with the Red Wings worth $11 million per year. The Detroit Red Wings have a huge regular season that sees them finishing first in the NHL and winning the President's Trophy. The playoffs were pretty much just as dominant and did see them winning the Stanley Cup in six games over the Winnipeg Jets. Stanley Cup champion Thomas Shabbat in the regular season put up 9 goals and 42 assists for 51 points in 80 games. In the runs of the Cup, he scored 3 goals and 11 assists for 14 playoff points. Shabbat didn't take home the Conn Smythe though as that went to Jalen Smabby and Shabbat dropped again in overall and is now down to an 87. For the second straight season, the Detroit Red Wings regular season dominance continues and sees them finish first in the league again and win their second straight President's Trophy. The playoffs were not as good to them though this year as they are upset by the Buffalo Sabres in Game 7 of the first round. Thomas Shabbat's regular season saw him stay healthy and score 10 goals and 51 assists for 61 points, and in the playoffs was very solid, scoring a goal and 5 assists for 6 points in 7 games. Once again, Shabbat decreases in overall due to his age and is now down to an 85. For the fourth straight year, the Detroit Red Wings make the playoffs after finishing fourth in the league. The playoffs saw them go on another decent run, but still not getting back to the Stanley Cup as they fell in the Eastern Conference Finals to the New York Rangers in seven games. Thomas Shabbat scored six goals and 37 assists for 43 points in the regular season, and in the playoffs scored four goals and eight assists for 12 playoff points in 19 playoff games. Once again, a pretty decent year for Thomas Shabbat, but at age 36, he does decrease down to an 81 overall heading into the last year of his contract. Detroit again with another solid year, finishing 9th in the NHL, and once again in the playoffs. This year's playoffs were very disappointing and saw them only last 5 games versus Montreal in the first round. Thomas Shabbat at 37 years old, played in 81 games and scored 6 goals and 18 assists for 24 points and in the 5 playoff games, added just 1 assist. With this, Shabbat drops to a 78 overall and in the offseason test free agency and signs with the New Jersey Devils on a 1 year $1.3 million deal. Thomas Shabbat ended up spending the year down with the Devils minor league team in Binghamton and they finished 25th in the AHL. Shabbat played in just 52 games due to injury and in them scored 7 goals and 29 assists for 36 points on the year. Thomas Shabbat drops to a 77 overall and in the offseason decides to keep playing and sign with the New York Rangers on a one-year $2.8 million deal.
The New York Rangers ended up finishing 27th in the NHL, and Thomas Shabbat remained up with them all season long. In the 81 games he played in, he scored 3 goals and 15 assists for 18 points on the year. With this, we do see Thomas Shabbat drop to his 75 overall, and finally decide to hang up the skates and retire. So in 1,362 NHL games, Thomas Shabbat scored 157 goals and 659 assists for 816 career NHL points. Aside from these good numbers, he did win a Norris Trophy and a Stanley Cup as a member of the Detroit Red Wings. Great career, and maybe a possible future Hall of Famer. As always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think, as well as who you would like to see next. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.